The two most important ingredients for making geopolymers are the fine alumina silicate, in this case fly ash uh, from the Aurora power plant on the Chena River. And it's, it's basically smoke in a bucket. Um, it, you can see it lofts into the air very, very easily. And then we have uh, sodium hydroxide, which uh, most people know as caustic soda or lye. It's been used for centuries for making soap, among other things. It's, uh, it's a very strong alkali. Um, it, you don't want to get it on you at all. Um, but it's what's used to dissolve uh, part of the fly ash, and, and the result reforms into the, the geopolymer cement. Geopolymers can be made out of naturally you know, quarried clay or things like that, but uh, much more significantly, they can be made out of industrial byproducts, industrial waste. We have fly ash from Golden Valley, Golden Valley Electric Company's uh, Healy One power plant. It's a, a fairly light gray material. Uh, it's a nearly perfect material for making geopolymers. But you can also make geopolymers using uh, mine tailings. We have quite a lot of mine tailings in interior Alaska. This is uh, basically flowered, flowered quartz or quartz flower, if you will, from the Fort Knox mine. We as a society have gone through a tremendous expense to make this stuff to be able to get the gold out of it. But as a side effect, both for the uh, producing power using coal, uh, we've, we've produced a, a, a very nice usable raw material here in the form of fly ash. And, and in, in uh, mining the gold, we've produced a, a very nice raw material uh, here as, as mine tailings that presently we're, we're just throwing them both away. It's important to understand that um, geopolymer cements can be made using a variety of different alumina silicate source materials. Um, it depends in part on what's available locally and what combination of, of those materials works. Um, here in Fairbanks we're using mostly uh, fly ash from coal-fired power plants. Uh, mine tailings, clay, and silt. Uh, over time, we'd like to uh, find combinations that, that use more silt because it's so readily available and, and free. Developing Alaska, building in Alaska, if you will, at, ever, at whatever rate we can afford and choose to do it is necessarily going to involve a lot of concrete. Um, what we make that concrete out of and, and where it comes from is a significant part of the cost of, of, that, of that development. So if we can decrease the cost uh, through not having to import all of our, or the vast majority of our Portland cement from Korea, for example, um, then we will have changed and hopefully improved the economic condition for our building and development.